Today is Tuesday, June 15. I'm Pastor Michael. This week, Wilderness Wanderings is featuring a five-part series called Disruptive by Mr. Rick Verkirk. Today is episode two. For the first installment, check out yesterday's podcast. Today we're going to talk about the greatest disruption ever. But first, we'll just read our text for today, which is from Romans 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. In the beginning, Adam and Eve lived in a perfect world. Then they ate a fruit from the tree that was that they were forbid, forbidden to eat from. The result was sin, a disruption that permanently changed everything. Now, the Bible is not a rule book, but a grace narrative of how God purposely works to overcome the disruption of sin with the even greater disruption of his matchless grace. But history is full of many disruptive events. Vehicles disrupted, transportation methods, wars have rebordered countries and the balance of power. The internet has transformed communication. Our personal lives can be disrupted by unexpected events and circumstances beyond our control. History altering disruptions, whether local or global, are a constant, but one disruption remains the greatest ever. Jesus gave up his life and was sacrificed on the cross, the Roman capital punishment for the worst of the worst. And on that day, it seemed like just one more in a long line of Roman crucifixions. Yet no event in history has changed the world more. His sacrifice was the ultimate creative disturbance, for it was the premier display of how God's grace works. The love of God for sinners demonstrated on the cross is a scandalous grace. Our Heavenly Father gave his one and only Son for the world, for you and me. And this is disruptive grace. This is the declaration of his amazing love for all. The God of lavish grace reconciles us to himself as standing we have no innate rights to and saved us. God loves us because of who he is. Jesus' declaration, it is finished, captures the fullness of grace. And God's anger towards sin is poured out on Jesus. Grace absorbs and overcomes wrath. When I respond in faith to God's free pardon, then God will never punish me for sin. It is finished. The price is paid in full. His blood shed on the cross covers all sin, past, present, and future. And God's redemption made possible through the sacrifice of God the Son is the greatest disruption ever. What does it look like to walk with Jesus? Set free from the bondage of sin for you today. As you journey on, go with the blessing of God. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.